If you're looking for the JMU professors, we're the ones with the funny hats. <laughs> uh, Minister, uh, Rector, Pro-Rectors, Professor Caruana, uh, Dr. Eric Maslin, our department head, who's joined us for this occasion, and fellow lecturers, and of course, our students here today and their family and friends with whom we celebrate. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you and to be one of the first to offer all of our IMP students here today on behalf of James Madison very sincere congratulations on completing the top portion of your master's courses. Four weeks ago, I had the very good fortune to be here in Malta teaching my study unit when the Prime Minister, the Honorable Lawrence Gonzi, vi visited us here in this building to recognize the vision of Rector Camilleri and to inaugurate the new facilities here that we all have enjoyed throughout the past year. The Prime Minister's remarks that they were sincere and heartfelt in his genuine affection for, for, for Rector Camilleri and appreciation for all that he and his staff have accomplished in five short years were quite evident. Uh, the Rector's remarks that day were equally heartfelt and sir, your recognition that day of the partnership between James Madison University and the University of Malta was sincerely appreciated by all of us who have played a role in your realization of your vision. We are proud of our strong friendship with you and your remarkable institution and its people here. Only days after the Prime Minister's visit, the CERM program was visited here in Malta for several days and reviewed by the Southern Association for Colleges and Schools, otherwise known as SACS, the accrediting body of James Madison University. And while it gives me great pleasure to report today that the visit was a successful one, it mustn't be overlooked that it is the nature and the strength of the partnership between our institutions that was recognized by the SACS team, first and foremost, as a significant contributing factor behind the ongoing success and development of CERM and all the other IMPs as well. The sincerity and passion was duly noted by the SACS team, in which all of our friends at the University of Malta, and especially our CERM students, shared their experiences and their challenges. So on behalf of JMU, I would like to thank you all for the role that you played during the accreditation visit. Uh, thinking back again to the visit from the Prime Minister, I believe that many of the lecturing staff who attended would agree that the most compelling moments occurred when the students from each of the IMPs reflected on each of their journeys this past year. All four young women who spoke that day did so expressively, offering personal insights into each program, each one of which is designed to challenge and to stimulate and to expand professional horizons in ways that are unique among institutions of higher education anywhere in the world. The eloquence with which our students articulated themselves reminded me of an element of a science degree that is sometimes underestimated or undervalued. An element that is, in fact, a cornerstone of our undergraduate program of integrated science and technology back at JMU, and really should not be overlooked here within CERN. And that is how we communicate our endeavors and our outcomes. As the as the development of CERM has progressed, and as we all, and I mean all of us as a team, students, staff, faculty, administrators, we've strived to improve and enhance the program. And with a second year of students on the verge of graduating, we find ourselves trying even harder to define and to communicate the distinct nature of the CERM graduate. To characterize the CERM graduate with words and phrases that capture the essence of the degree and the experience. With a single breath, we sometimes utter the phrase environmental specialist, or with another sustainability expert, or perhaps resource manager. I would offer the following as a defining phrase as well, and that is sustainability communicator, with an emphasis on the word, word communicator. We've learned nothing else from the postgraduate experience of our first CERN cohort. It is this, that with a CERN degree in hand, one can excel across a very broad landscape, and your forebears are now engaged in important and compelling work, managing groundwater metering efforts, serving as a sustainability coordinator for a large institution, conducting environmental roof, uh, review for offshore wind farms, deploying air quality measuring devices in India, starting up a company to deploy solar technologies, or engaging in environmental planning. And all these graduates share that defining characteristic that was expressed so well by the four young women several weeks ago, who presented during the inauguration ceremony the element of a CERM education not ever to be taken lightly, the role that you will need to play as a communicator. In this day and age of climate change and all the impacts it already wreaks upon our nations, progress toward a more sustainable global, global community will rely heavily on your ability not only to act as informed analysts, 
capable synthesizers of information and passionate advocates for more sustainable societies, but especially as effective communicators of the problems we face and the solutions you will help to formulate. We live in a world filled with misinformation and controversy, and there may be no more appreciated science practitioner or sustainability expert than one who is able and is willing to take the time and to make the effort to communicate honest and truthful information in a fashion that is accessible to those who are charged to make critical decisions, and especially to a public that is hungry to participate in honest and well-informed dialogue. Please do rise to the challenge to share with all those stakeholders with whom you will engage with unique and broad base of understanding and knowledge you've acquired, an even greater collection of experiences you will accumulate as you pass through your dissertation and into the professional phase of your lives. We will rely on you to represent CERN well, but the global community will rely on you much more heavily to address the problems that confront us, and especially to ensure that these problems and the solutions you will help develop are communicated effectively. Thank you for your tireless efforts and your contributions, and best of luck over the next several months as you complete your dissertations. We'll see you in Harrison later in December. Thank you. Brad Benner Ellison. Brown Thomas Kimberly. Falzon Clyde. West with me. May I remind you that there are three students